Good morning, little Timmy. Oh, you gonna stare at me like you can't hear me? Good morning, little Timmy. Good morning, Nick. Nick, what's up, baby girl? Good morning. <laughs> How you doing? Good morning. How are you? I all miss I'm all a little miss sleepy. Learn how to park. Huh? Learn how to what? All, all miss learn how to pose like that when that woman talks to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just to freeze. You just to freeze, man. Just stop freeze. talking. Freeze. <laughs> Look at her ass. Don't be stupid. Don't freeze. We need you to talk back. Talk back. Oh. No, no, don't freeze. Don't freeze. Or calm. Just turn You're going to win anyway. Just freeze. Say what? She's going to win anyway. Who? Huh. The woman? They win. They win, every, they win every argument. Be as we should. What's wrong with that? When exactly what she wanted. I'm, your sound is going in and out. It's going in and out? Yeah. I said, I, said, I said, if you win an argument as a man, she got exactly what she wanted. You didn't win. You just you lost and your ass don't know it. You lost when the argument True. began. Shit, what the fuck did you think? What the fuck, no? <laughs> oh, I thought he was playing. <laughs> he, was, he was winning the argument. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, sorry, Timmy. I didn't catch that. My bad. <laughs> mm. Have it to Murgatroyd. So while we're waiting on little Timmy to get his life right, we got to see what we got. A few things here. Oh, Lord. Anyway. What we going to do? I was waiting on little Timmy and little Dale. I apologize, but y'all know not to expect no real, like, serious shit from us, okay? Because that's not what we're doing. Not now, not ever. Sorry. Little Timmy, you fucking up the flow, but you look good now. <laughs> you did until you moved. Apparently, your phone don't like your face. Because when you make those faces, that's the stuff that happens. Let me talk to my friend. Good morning, Reverend Boy. How you doing? He said, and small <laughs> to me. I mean, look. <laughs> Everybody's funny. Morning, Bree Bree. How you doing? Hello. Yeah, that's Timmy thing, Bree. Timmy stay gone. He's here, I'm but him. he's not. Nick. Nick. Here, but he ain't here here. Nick. We're not gonna get used to you, Timmy. We don't wanna have to get get to know you and then you leave us again. See, look at that bullshit right before my eyes. I blink in this bama gone. Mm, mm, mm. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Where's Big Dale when you need him? Where's our producer this morning? I don't understand. What's up, Big Hoof? What's up, 420 Friendly Radio? Timmy, you need to get your fucking life right, okay? I don't know what the fuck is going on with you, but I'm not here for that bullshit this morning, okay? I'm telling you right now. Get it together or leave it alone. Shit. What I the dang. fuck? No. Like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I like that song. That's what, that what, that what the fuck do? <laughs> oh. What you know? He's on. <laughs> he needs a new phone, Reverend Boy. He needs not just a new phone. He no. needs a new phone, a, a new Wi-Fi, and a new daggone job. I'm sick of him. Good morning, Big Dale. What's going on? We saw you in the lobby, but you're not in the lobby no, no. more. What happened? I need a new manager. You need to let your manager be the manager and stop trying to manage and have a manager. See, if you listen to me, your ass will stop freezing. Bree, you leave early today. Where you going? Uh-oh, so Timmy going to call me on the phone. What you think? This the, is this the dispatch? Is this the dispatch? <laughs> I see you now. You still frozen. This is dispatch. Answer your phone. You see, you, your phone work for the Baltimore Police Department. 
Timmy fucked up, y'all. I ain't, I ain't for it. I'm not here for that shit this morning, okay? I don't know what Timmy's doing. Big Dell, what's going on? Where are you? Where's everybody going? We got a few things that we can talk about, but I'm trying to let these clowns get their life right. I don't understand why it takes 20 minutes every day to get this shit together now. It's not me. Oh, he's back. Look, it's not me. It's them niggas. I swear. It's y'all. Stop playing. That's why your phone keep fucking around. Your phone <laughs> keep fucking with the I phone. I'm talking shit. Silly. Go to my new freeze. My new freeze for nigga. <laughs> can't stand him. He get on my nerves. Stop messing with me, little Timmy. What's going on, girl? Yes. Good morning. Big Who, welcome to the party. He said, stop Big the who, what's up? refrigerator and it won't free <laughs> up for me. Things that old niggas say. So he, he watched that show. He put his phone in the refrigerator trying to think his wife can't hear and see his where the fuck he is. With shit. That, don't, that don't work. That don't work. That don't work. That don't work. You got to turn that thing off, too. I only work for William Snowden. What? It don't work for Timmy. Welcome to the party, big Yes, Yeah, it's long. Like and share the feed, everybody. Um, let me share the feed to Timmy, uh, to Timmy's people. I'm sitting here. I thought Big Dale was gonna come talk to us. I don't know what happened. I guess he couldn't make it. Hey, and yeah, Timmy got that Comcast again. I don't know what he's doing, and I don't know what it takes. He can go down below and get a whole car to put his cell phone in. Shit. I don't know why you're the only person in America having those kinds. I ain't got no. What? What'd you say, Timmy? I ain't got no air. I ain't no goddamn good one. I ain't got no good one. Hey. Car. Nigga, uh, what kind of phone are you talking on? I ain't got no air condition and no Wi-Fi. That's why you're fucking your phone is hot, nigga. You, your phone is hot. Go get a couple of them junkies to blow on your phone till we finish. Tell them just blow on the phone. That's that bullshit. I'm sick of him. Dale, you got to go out and come back in because you don't have no image in there. I see you say that, but you don't have an image. So you got to go out and come back in. It's not working, okay? Anybody on the feed want to come and, and chat with us? It's Friday with friends. This is the day that we talk to our friends, little Timmy and me and Big Dell. We're talking with our friends. So go out and come back in and let's chat. Let's wrap. What's up? Little Timmy, are you here to stay, boy? Somebody shot. Somebody shot. Somebody on there, Clippers. I'm your name. Yeah, nigga, is your phone on fast forward? What you mean? Did y'all hear that? <laughs> 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 Somebody tell me, I'm here now. And then you jump. Nigga, Look, phone is possessed. Somebody try to sell me some used toenail clippers. Yeah, you and, and, and he, he didn't sell you no Obama phone. He sold you telling you a Trump phone. You got that motherfucker phone that don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Big Bill can't come today. He looking for magic shapes to get them just hit. <laughs> oh, hey, he, hey, nigga. He don't nigga. need magic shape. He needs a magician for them chats. Hey, Nicky. Hey, Nicky. Huh? Do me a favor. Don't ever let the nigga come back over here with a tank top. That shit is, that shit is eyesore. Uh, it's throwing you all off, right? I can't even say shit. Every time. And then look the nigga in the eye. <laughs> you can't look him in the eye with them beady chest hands. That shit is scurvy. Nah. He can't keep doing that. Nah, that's wrong. I, I agree with you, little Timmy, on that shit. That shit ain't right. He ain't right for that. No. Scurvy. Huh? What? Oh, Lord. Can somebody else come and talk to me? Because I'm not feeling this. Timmy need to get his motherfucking self together. I'm here. 
Huh? But your ass keep going in and out. I ain't going in and out. That's you. Yeah. I'm sick of you and your daggone uh, cell phone. You, you got you got Sister Quintella's celery phone out that motherfucker. You don't have a cell phone. You got her cell phone. <laughs> your ass. So Taraji P. Henson spoke out about the disparity in pay. There's a, a pay gap, a huge pay gap in, in the entertainment industry. She okay, right. I'm going to send it to you on the inbox, okay? Yeah. In the entertainment industry, apparently, she said Tyler Perry was the first person to pay her $500,000 for, I guess, a movie or whatever. But... Um, the, the disparity in pay is prevalent throughout the workforce, no matter what you yes. And black women, for every $1 earned by white men, black women get, I think, 65 cents. White women get 75 cents. And black men, I think, 75 cents, too, or somewhere around there per, for, for every dollar that they earn. So you know what that means, Timmy. Mm -hmm. You out there doing your police shit and you know your what? officers huh? next to you, not only are they being paid more to whoop niggas' asses, <laughs> you get paid less to stand by and watch that bullshit. Yeah, I saw that Taraji to be thing that she didn't have a number. She had to take all the work she had. She couldn't even pick up work because she needed the money. So she took everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's been like that for years. That's, that's even black comics. Black yeah. comics go do the same thing. Yeah. So when you go to the comedy clubs and things like that, uh, black comics get paid less than white comics as a whole, right? Yes. Yeah. So They do. What's the least you've ever been paid? Yeah, oh, yeah. Good morning, Shep. What's up? Welcome to the party. What's the least you've ever been paid as a comedian? Nigga, are you frozen? Could somebody please come in? I'm sick of Timmy. I'm sick of him and his fucking fucked up ass phone. The nigga, right. move, your car. move your motherfucking car. You just staring. Huh? Oh Lord, this cannot be my life. Chef, are you are you not at your job? Because you wouldn't be on here. Where are you, Chef Kelly? Come in here and talk to us. We're talking about disparity. That, huh? Your wife, I that, think. that is not me. I'm working. My shit is working. My shit is totally fucking working, little Timmy. You and Dell. Dell needs to get on his phone. Or something, and you that's your Wi Fi. No, it's not. My shit is working fine. How could my Wi Fi be fucking you up? Help me understand that, sir. Why would my Wi Fi be kicking you in and out? Okay, so the show has become me and little Timmy trying to fucking make this shit work. Okay, what the fuck? What the fuck, do? Five, four, three, two, one. Chef, I'm sending you a link. All right, come in here and talk to us. If you can, if you're on your little job, I guess you might have problems. But if you're not, I'm inviting you to come chat. All right. We're talking about the disparity in pay between black people and white people. Entertainment. When the Taraji on uh, the disparity in pay for white women. They go, Brie Brie. Let's talk to Brie. Come on up here and talk to me a little too, Bree. Hey, Bree. Hey, what y'all doing? Welcome to the party. You know, know what? She still got. She <laughs> still got less paid for an Empire. You see that? No, I didn't. How much did she get? What do you mean, less paid for Empire? Oh, I'm gonna sit. Jimmy. Is he gone again? <laughs> Okay, Bree. You can you see me? I see you. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna put my glasses on, but I, I think I can see y'all. Oh. 
Is it I get is Timmy gone again? No, I ain't gone. I'm right here. With that calm cast again and that he got. Mine's probably go out in a minute. Hey, April Sampay, welcome to the party. <laughs> Chef say she at work. She said the least she's ever been paid is exposure. <laughs> They kill shit. You gonna get so much exposure. <laughs> I know. Somebody wanted to invite you to Philly, didn't they, Chef, for exposure? They want you yep. to spend your money getting there so that you can get exposure. Hey, hey, April Sam Pay mm -hmm. to the party, honey. So Brie, mm -hmm. do, yeah. do you do you uh think that there is hey, a pay disparity between men and women? Oh, yeah, it happens every day. You can go to school, learn stuff, and the man will make more than you anyway. Well, yeah, that's true. That's true. Thank you, Bree. How articulate and <laughs> loquacious. You got to stop talking so much, Bree. You talk too motherfucking much. You just talk yeah, too much. You think I talk too much? No, you that, 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 that's, that's, that's why I show exactly. Bree, you know exactly. They're going to tell me, what is, what is he talking hey, about? Hey, Brie, no, I think you know enough. I was just kidding when I said simple. that. So that was similar to the point. What I tell you and little Timmy what all the time, DJ Oxygen? Exposure. <laughs> April said the least she's been paid is a meal. April, can you come talk to us? Uh, Jeff said she don't have to deal with the man woman disparity <laughs> which lives matter because she's uh she's gay but she's like gay gay <clears throat> so do lesbians get paid less <laughs> in entertainment let me tell you something the gays are fucking winning right now so i cannot imagine you're having any sort of issue with respect to pay at all Okay, right I don't know what's happening. Bree talking. Timmy ain't talking. Thank yeah, you. I'm listening. Too, Bree, but talking? you get ready to put out. No, nah, I'm talking. What are we talking about? I, I said women get less money. Are you high? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> she said, he said, are you high? You can't, so you can't see us, huh? No, I can see Nikki, but I can't see little Timmy. That's what Dale said yesterday. I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we need to get us a new phone or something. We got to figure that one out. I don't know why you can't see us. Maybe You, we'll th you think I should leave and then come back here? No, no, no. I think um, we'll we'll just have to figure it out. No, that ain't my phone. Yeah. It's not thinking the way. Huh? Okay, Shep said butchers get paid. Shoulders too big. <laughs> We're intimidating. Well... All butchers ain't big. It's a lot of little teeny ass gay. For a minute, all gay people look like Lil Wayne. I don't know. A lesbian <laughs> look like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. I don't know what the fuck that shit was. Like all the little oh. lesbians look like Lil Wayne. <laughs> mm. That must have been a thing. I don't Are you know. having a, a reception issue? Because I don't know. understanding what the stare down is. Okay? No, nah, I'm 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 oh. following with y'all. Okay, Bree, I'm I'm getting ready to go get Big Dale. So Oh shoot. I'll bring you back in a little while. Okay. On the next topic. Okay. I want you to practice saying something. All right. Okay, I'm gonna practice. Okay. Tomorrow we're gonna practice on shapes and colors. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh wait. Is that is, we brought Bree back? <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to practice shapes and colors with Bray. Shit, tomorrow we're going to practice internet and Wi-Fi. What's up, big dude? What's that? <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. What's up, Timmy? Oh, April says she's a gay man trapped in a woman's body with a voice. Yeah, but... but huh? What'd you say, Timmy? What the fuck is going on? I oh, don't know. Am I in there? Yeah. Am I okay? Timmy froze again. Y'all killing me. Y'all killing me. You and Timmy. Timmy. Oh, I have mercy. 
This is driving me nuts. Hey, it's too early for this shit. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Friends yeah. with Friday, fucked up internet Friday. Friends with Friday, fucked up internet Friday. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you beautiful and handsome. They don't know where, whether to overpay or low. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, they confused. You threw the motherfuckers off. They don't know what to say. Timmy fell off again. So I don't know what happened. Big Dale, can you see me? Yeah, I see you, baby. I see you. I'm in here with you. We, we rocking and rolling. Oh, my let's God. Get, let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. <laughs> and, you know, and, you, and you know, it's funny. Like um, when I used to run the restaurant and we used to do comedy shows on certain nights, and um, they used to bring comedians in. I was surprised at how much some of those comedians came in and got paid. Like, you know, being being oblivious and not knowing the industry, knowing that people come and do, you know, little sets for $50, $75, $100. You know, I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Even even if they are new comedians, I thought it was like a, a set standard. Like, okay, you got to get at least 300 400 500 a show. You know what I'm saying? I think it, people make thousands. But people coming in there doing $25 for a set. Wow. I was very shocked about that. Timmy, Timmy. if Timmy come back, we'll see. Timmy, yeah. did you hear what he said? Say it again, Dale. I was saying that that, that previously when I ran a restaurant, we used to do comedy. Man, back then. What did he say? I don't know. Um, take your finger out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you feel bad location or something. It's not working where you are. We, uh... Yeah, we're not. We having a terrible time understanding and hearing you. It's just not working where you are. He must have bought one of them wires where he's trying to go on the AM FM radio. He thought he was upgrading this shit, but he keep buying shit from Cricket. Chef said they be like, "How much you want, Chef?" <laughs> Which lives matter. People getting low pay makes me like what? People getting low pay makes people like me get offered less. Yeah, that's true. No, people that's that's, that's in a lot of industries though. People accepting low pay. And see, that's the thing I think in comedy, people be so desperate, like Taraji, like uh what Timmy um mentioned. People get so desperate because they got to eat, they end up taking these little teeny ass uh, gigs for pay that they shouldn't take. And it makes it difficult for the people who want to stand up and, and just hold out because they know they can get somebody. It's like how the black comedy, black comedians, you know, in the state of black comedy, comedians work in these club circuits like the improvs and the lab, you know, and the uh, funny bones and all that shit. So they only work with certain comedians and if those comedians would really take a, a position, you know, like they're out of fear. Out of fear because they feel like if they if they refuse to do something when they treat another comic bad, then they might not get work. So, you know, it's like the crab in the barrel thing. Motherfuckers just won't stand for nothing, so they keep falling for that bullshit. That's true, but you know, that's almost in any uh, self-employed entertainment, non-entertainment field where you're bidding and competing for something. Because even like in my field of security, you got guys that want to say they security and do bodyguard professional protection work just to be seen with people. And they'll take $50, $100. You know what I'm saying? When you got guys that really do this for a living and got credentials and got, got all their certifications, you know what I'm saying? They lowball them and then the client want to take that person because they feel like they want to go the cheaper route. So okay. that that happens a lot in our field as well, you know what I'm saying? So it be so sometimes when you sit with people and you tell them how much you charge, they really don't understand it until they get with you and see what you really do and see the difference between the two. That's probably the same thing in comedy. They probably tell motherfucker, oh, I give you twenty five dollars. He get up there, he he might be funny that night, and nine times out of ten, he gonna be like how y'all say less to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it happens. 
it happens all over the place. And, you know, you don't know anybody's situation or everybody's situation. So people end up doing what they do anyway, you know, because they they feel like they can't, um, they can't, they can't. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he got a Fisher Price my first set for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's crazy, man. The big, the big yellow with the blue hair to it. <laughs> I remember it. He even got that. That <laughs> even works better than what he got. Yeah, man. Hey, don't yeah. forget to tell a friend, like and share this feed, man. Tell a friend how to join us every weekday, 1030-ish. We're going to start at 10.30. It's going to about 11.30. It's just, you know, tell a friend how to get in. Did you did you happen to see um, when they see us yet? I watched some of it. I did watch some of it. But it's like, that's one of those films, like, like honestly, I think I got to be a little high. Because it it's, it's emotional. It's very wow. emotional. Yeah, and I'm the, I'm the type. I'll be wanting to go slap somebody just to slap my motherfucker. So how much did you see? I mean, it was just. I mean, I saw. I saw like how they was. You know, had the kids handcuffed, and you know, what I'm saying it's just the innocence just taken away from young black people. That's like, and you know, they so confused. Like, what the fuck is going on? Hmm. Like that shit is that shit was which way to go. And the saddest right. part of all of that was the um the parents you know i just felt so bad for the parents now if anybody you helpless and hopeless you know huh the helpless what? and hopeless you helpless and hopeless against the system that's already set up against you yeah yeah i'm telling you if anyone has it on the feed uh and you want to come in let me know because i will send you a link um, I think that we this is a conversation that needs to be had and needs to continue to be had because it is so fucking unacceptable. When I tell you this lady has had the opportunity to go on and 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 I use the term lady loosely, this bitch, okay? This right, right. crazy, horrible, hideous bitch has had the opportunity to go on and continue to live her fucking life after robbing the uh, these children, children of their uh, of their existence. I mean, like I, I my heart aches every time I think about it. And, and it's the shame has become the norm. Oh no, it, it was so 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 many, so many young people going through this struggle older people man and they've been they've been in jail for for years based on based on bs you know now we now we got the the dna going and you got social media and different things that can help along those lines but man these people like what can you repay a person that's been in jail 27 years of their life for something they didn't do find a better picture than 30 bitch because you can't, I think, find a, you can't find no better picture, shit. Well, a bigger picture because everybody needs to see her. They need to hate this bitch, and and I mean, like hate. I don't know if we need to waste time hating this bitch, but we need to. Um, I don't know what we need to do. We need to boycott this bitch. We need to do whatever we can. All her books need to be pulled from wherever the fuck they are. Like she, her life she needs, needs to be non-existent. Her, her life needs to be fucked up. Just like she ended the lives of those boys and their families for the right. time that that uh, she was able to perpetuate that ruse that became. It's, it's so hard sometimes when when I think about it. Sometimes it's like a double-edged sword for me because I kind of like the the passage of an eye for an eye, you know, and, and that and that thing, you know, what I'm saying. But in some cases. You look at stuff like this, and you'd be like, "What if we, what if we did an eye for an eye and, and raped them young men and killed them?" You know what I'm saying? And they was innocent, based on what somebody else said. Like, like um, in Alabama, right now, is it? Wait a minute, let me get my thoughts right. Uh, shit, not Alabama. In 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 one of the southern states, 
they're talking about castrating uh, sex crimes, people, people convicted of sex crimes. So I, I, a blog on D.L. Hughley's blog, the GED section, uh, GED, follow it, the GED section.com. There was a blog written uh, yesterday or the day before that that talks about, I think it is the state of Alabama. They're so fucking backwards. I don't want to give them credit for something that they're, they're not responsible for. But anyway, I, I, it's one of their southern states is trying to pass a law that would en entitle them the opportunity to be able to castrate chemically castrate uh, people convicted, men convicted of sex crimes against children, I think it was. Now, here's the thing. The only problem with this, one of the, the most glaring problems with this is what happens when they see us? You know, because if they were allowed to happen in cases like this, we would, boys not only would have lost the years that they lost in prison, they would never, ever, ever be able to be men because they would have castrated. Right. And that's what I was saying. That's my double edged sword about the I for an I situation, you know, because back then it was, it's, it was, it was such like they didn't have a DNA, we didn't have social media. So it was just so much just easily convicted by the word of, a, of another man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so, you know, like, like for me, like it's, it's just a double edged sword with that. In my, in my mind, who I am, yeah, castrate them. But then, what if you find out this, 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 this person is innocent? Right. You know, you, can't so. you just can't. You can't do that kind of shit because there's always the possibility that that shit ain't what what's real, and it happens all too frequently in America, unfortunately. Timmy phone must have melted today. <laughs> Yesterday he said he must have melted today. He gone. He ain't came back yet. Huh? Yeah, he has it. The Fisher yeah. Price Fisher Price phone melted. <laughs> I know. Let's stop talking about this evil bitch. I hate her ass. I, I yeah. it just dampens my mood every time I think about it. So it's Friday with friends, and we're talking about anything and everything and absolutely nothing because that's what the fuck we do. We don't really have anything specific that we stick to, because we don't really know that much. <laughs> 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 we know what the fuck we know. Yep, say comments get on planes. We were talking about the disparity in pay and uh, females in entertainment, and we specifically brought it to comedians, because that's what we can relate to. When little Timmy was here, we were able to discuss it. Shep chimed in talking about the pay. She said the least she ever got was exposure. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard, I've heard that a lot too. Mm -hmm. Tell, yeah, they get, get exposure. <laughs> you know, I, with I musicians as well, huh? I, ain't, I, I don't think I've ever gotten anything because I, I say no. I say no. Fuck that. I ain't doing it. No, thank you. I'm not interested. <laughs> I think enough of us start to say no, then uh, we won't have to worry about that bullshit. Don't be desperate. But then, then you get, then, then you get, then you get into those. You know, saying like I say, they just want to be seen. You know. Sometimes it's it, you. You just have to be seen. I remember when we were doing the uh, Hope Club was doing the females in comedy convention. Shep can attest to this. Like the thing that they would tell people is. Don't get out there expecting to be paid right away because you need to pay your dues. And I know I would look around the room to look at the, the look on people's faces. I'm like, bitch, I need to be paid. Fuck you. Good, bad, or I, I'm not going to be shit. My life, my life bill don't work on dues. <laughs> you got to pay your dues. That was the olden day. That's not how it works. Right. We can make money in so many ways. Then, you know, it's just a con such a contradiction that people will impose their beliefs on you. Yes, you got to pay your dues and you got to get seasoned and you got to really, really, you know, do things. But to expect people to come spend their time and, you know, give you whatever they have in the way of uh, entertainment or sweat, blood, sweat and tears is ridiculous. 
Don't be asking motherfuckers to do shit for nothing. You ain't gonna do shit for nothing. That's so true. That's so true. So what's up? What you got going on for the weekend? Chuck heads. Chest heads, did you? Say what? You shaved your beady chest heads? Hey man, don't be talking about my chest hair, man. My 13 chest hair. Nah, they still here. They're gonna be here. <laughs> that's the safe sex. That's the that's the safe sex we're gonna get. <laughs> that's the safe sex sponsorship from Trojan we're gonna get. <laughs> that's so, sponsorship coming. Casey Morgan bought uh, a Bugatti. Right. As soon as he left off the lot, they said it got side swiped. But you know that car, they, they said that car for like 1.8. They said that car for like 1.82 million. So how Can much you imagine? Off the value when he got oh side man, side. when he got size, why that probably dropped it down to 1.2. <laughs> <laughs> he probably he, he probably lost 800 thousand off the break. He you probably put half a mile on that bitch and lost 800 thousand. You have to have too much money to pay two million. I mean, two million dollars for a fucking car. Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. 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 I actually, you know, I'm glad he's all right. Considering he went through the the tragic situation with the, the accident in the truck, you know, and he got paid from that. And, you know, his his career is doing well. You know, so he came all the way up. He didn't just get paid. He came up. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, I hate to happen to his car, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy he's safe. He's good. You know what I'm saying? He probably looked at it and said, "For he probably, he, you know, he had to leave with insurance on it, so he all right. He probably got it fixed." He took it to West Coast Custom Autos and they hooked it up for him. Look, I'll take the door off that motherfucker. Okay? <laughs> Send me the crash up door. Let me use that. Oh, right, right, right. The door now. Shit. It has to change. All right, we're going to wrap it up, Big Bell. I, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Always, I got a lot of stuff to do that I probably won't do. And then I yeah, got yeah. things that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to attempt to do. I appreciate okay. you and all your efforts to keep this show as ratchet as it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know me. I ain't got shit to do. I ain't got shit to do this weekend. You and um, the bitch are doing such a good job. This is some ass <laughs> motherfucking shit, man. <laughs> That's right. And if you got high expectations for this show, you looking at the wrong motherfucking show. <laughs> you need to go find that shit on TV called a view or some shit like that. Then you looking for some expectations. White noise the morning shows, okay? When you ain't got nowhere else to fucking go, you are just right for us. Bring your ass over here because we this is <laughs> this is the show made for all the government workers in DC. <laughs> No, not just DC, the federal government workers, the G oh, oh, <laughs> GW, all the GW out there. Share this with all your GW friends. That's government workers. <laughs> all, the, all the government workers out there. This is the show for you. This, this is the show for you. We love you. We love you, government. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, it's sweet, man. Tell a friend we here each and every weekday mornings. Monday through Friday, 10.30-ish. And we're talking about anything and everything, but mostly absolutely nothing, okay? Nothing, what you say? absolutely what? Why are you telling us to yeah. work? Don't go before I tell y'all what. What you going to tell us? Shep, what you going to tell us, Chef? Fucking with us. What's up, what's up, what's up? While we wait for Chef to tell us what he's going to tell him, man, I just want to say, man, we love each and every person that tunes in to us, man. Keep watching us. Tell a friend how to join in. You know what I'm saying? Like and share this feed each and every day. We're here having the fun, talking about absolutely nothing. And then sometimes we actually talk about some stuff with some substance. But we don't, but know, we don't know what the fuck we're we talking about. <laughs> so don't come in with no motherfucking expectations, okay? Oh, okay. Chef said somebody tried to book her. For exposure last night. <laughs> bro, it was so bad. You know? <laughs> Just to get that motherfucker to stop talking. Sure. He, he tried to get him to stop talking. <laughs> it's time for us to get the fuck out of here because it is way too early for this shit. Yo, love y'all. Have an amazing weekend. Be amazing because you were born to be that. And we'll see you next week. Uh, on behalf of little Timmy. Uh, we're going to try to get him some internet. Look for GoFund phone for Timmy. We're going to put that up. GoFund me phone for Timmy. We're going to try to get him at least a, a note three. Obama phone. 
He didn't even turn that motherfucking Trump phone back in. They don't they even give him the Trump phone. They gave him the Trump lawyer's phone. So when he got <laughs> the phone, was lying ass phone. <laughs> Timmy got a line. The phone to tell him he got six bars when he only got one. Lying <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Timmy, with that phone. Put that phone to you know, back. <laughs> Anyway. Get your LP, stop, stop putting that shit up to your ear and letting all that escrow juice get in it. That's why it's fucked up. <laughs> That's his natural curl. <laughs> it's an S curl. Let's get to the party. We in and out of here, though. Less the what's up? What's up? What's up, Les? The infamous Les I always hear about. Okay. Or the lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> That was somebody on the feed this morning. All right, we getting out of here. But um, again, thank you. Like and share the feed. Tell a friend we're here each and every weekday morning from 9.30ish until. Yes, indeed. Have a good weekend. Be amazing. Yeah, we're getting out of here because it's too early. For sure. The mouth. The mouth.